So as you can see, I've uh, put all the pencils together uh, now uh, to make a bit of a block. Um, they're all super glued together. Um, I've cut the ends off of the pencils um, so that there's no ends now. So you've got a nice even edge both sides. And now I'm sanding down the top here because what I plan to do is put um, like a a segmented top on here for the bowl and probably one underneath here as well so I'll have to sand this down as well smooth as well so uh, that's as far as I've got so far okay so I have sanded down this a bit more um, probably still needs a bit more sanding but it's getting there and what I've done here is I've cut up some segments of uh, different types of wood I'm going to have to double check what wood this is, but I'm pretty sure this is walnut. Um, and this one may be some kind of maple. Um, but I've cut these into segments. Um, um, into put these basically on top here. Um, like this. But what I've done as well is I've cut, I've marked these out. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting these up individual. And then making almost like a chessboard on the top there. Which will be which will be the base of the uh, of the bowl. So uh, that's how far I've got so far. So I've cut all these segments up now uh, into little squares, and I've just put them through the sander uh, machine just to kind of like give them a bit of a smooth finish on each end, so they kind of like hopefully go together um, quite nicely. So uh, I'm going to try and put them together now um, and try and fit them on the top here. So as you can see, I've uh, put all the checkered bits on there and I've started to sand it down. Uh, I'm not really looking for a fine finish, I'm just kind of like giving myself something better to work off of really. Um, but I'm um, still convinced that this probably should be the bottom of the bowl. And you only probably see this, this part of it anyway. But um, yeah, it's coming on. Right, so I've got all the squares on there now. Uh, as you can probably see, just about all clamped in. Got to wait for that to dry now overnight, really, um, before I can really get on with the with the bottom or top. I'm not really too sure which I'm going to have yet. Whether I'm going to have this as the top or this is the bottom. Maybe this is the bottom. I think, um, but we'll see. So there it is. Yeah, which is the going to be the top or the base? I think to be fair, the way it's kind of laid out because this. I didn't have a big enough piece to come to the end so I think this is gonna have to be the bottom and this is gonna have to be the top now but you know you're not really gonna see much of this anyway this is gonna be hardly all well mostly all gone you're just gonna see a finished bottom uh, probably about that big and then this you're not really gonna see much of anyway it's just really the finishing edges really um, so that top bit is, I believe, is elm, I think. Is it elm?
try and see what that looks like so far. Well, it's getting getting some sort of shape now, which is quite nice to see. Getting there. Well, it's uh, taking some kind of shape now, as you can see. Um, slowly, slowly, basically making it around, uh, getting some sort of bowl shape from it. So uh, we should carry on. really trying to get the shape of the bowl now um, it's coming on but still a little way to go but it's looking pretty nice A couple of the uh, crayons have fallen out um, here, um, and I've got uh, another one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook these out, um, and then I'm going to uh, super glue um, some sort of CA glue in in here, and put another pencil inside it, and then uh, hopefully that should solve that problem. So the checkered. Uh, pattern that I put in is uh, looking quite nice actually, um, shame really not going to see much of it but um, still it looks, looks quite nice, let's carry on. Uh, it's coming on. You can see we're getting down into the pencils now. Um, it's a little bit rough at the moment, but um, that will, should sort itself out when we're done. But uh, we'll see.
nice coming on. Um, looking pretty nice now. Getting that bowl shape, and uh, which is what we want. The only thing I have found with this uh, doing this project is that um, I can't really sand it down very well. Um, sanding it down just basically puts marks, um, takes the, the, the pencil um, off onto the sandpaper and then just marks up the whole wood. Uh, same inside as well. So what I've had to do is um, I've had to just not sand it down and just do a fine cut uh, with the carbide cutter. Just a really nice fine edge um, and just see and then hopefully try and sort of shine it up from there really. We'll see how it finishes. Really. So I'm just finishing off the uh, bowl now, giving it a bit of French polish, uh, and uh, just sort of drying it off a little bit with the uh, heat gun, just to kind of see if I can get it sealed and dry quicker. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad really, it's not too bad at all. Let's uh, show you what we've got. And there we go. Not a bad, not a bad finish. There's a few flaws in there, but you know, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that.